the New Zealand Labour Party are dying slowly on death row. The Ardo and Hipkins Labour Party regime backstabbed everyone in New Zealand, but none more so than their own supporters. So far, no apologies have been forthcoming, but fingers crossed, Chris Hipkins will be a Gontberger politician by mid-year 2025 at the latest. At the present time, the Labour Party are on death row, which is great news for the coalition government, but not so much for the traditional Labour Party voters, many of whom drifted away. Totally disillusioned with Labour, to support the crazy nut job Green Party. All Labour has to offer at the present time is the lure of a comprehensive capital gains tax and the very remote possibility of a wealth tax, but the latter would literally destroy New Zealand. Recently the left bent corrupt and bribed mainstream media, in a futile attempt to promote the Labour Party, suggested that over 65% of Kiwis supported a capital gains tax. Needless to say that was woke mainstream media misleading garbage again, if not just an outright blatant lie. The much more accurate WTIQ polls for a capital gains tax are as follows. Not only do the vast majority of Kiwis not want a capital gains tax, over 60% nationwide also do want the Treaty Principles Bill implemented into law. It doesn't take much of a rocket scientist to work out to win the 2026 election. Thank you for listening. Geraint, on behalf of Funner 8 Hemp.